Um, I told you guys I would be back. But psst, we're doing a massive sex toy giveaway. So stay tuned for details. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Welcome back to part two of my Amsterdam adventure. If you guys haven't watched part one, click the link in the description and watch that one first because this one is actually not gonna make sense. So I just start the story up again very abruptly. So yeah, if you don't watch the first part, you're gonna be like, why is she being so dramatic right now? Like, where am I? Who am I? Open up a new tab, watch that first, come back. But if you did watch it, welcome back. This is the last and final part of my Amsterdam experience. And I'm really excited for you guys to get to see this part. And I hope you guys enjoy it. But first we do have a sponsor. So take it away, Sarah, AKA me in five minutes with a different shirt on. <laughs> oh, I feel like Shane Dawson. Welcome back. No. But hey, it's me in a turtle shirt now. Woo woo. Okay, so listen up. My friends at Bellessa and I, we are literally sending out free vibrators and free gift cards to vibrators to everyone who signs up for my giveaway. And if you're wondering what is Bellessa, I'm confused. Bellessa is a bi women company for all things sexual wellness. Bellessa's mission is to empower everyone to embrace, to explore, and to celebrate their sexuality. I'm gonna show you some of my faves that they they sent me and y'all are gonna love these. This little girly is called the Pebble because she looks like a little pebble and she's pink. And she's so cute and she's tiny, fits right in your hand. It's not too crazy, it's cute, it's compact. And the suction and the vibration is controlled independently. So that's all you girl. And it was designed on purpose to fit in your hand. It won't slip, it won't slip. That was a crazy motion, but it won't slip, it won't slide. And there's no annoying pattern modes. And it also comes with this USB cord that you just stick in the case. This is the charging case. You stick it in right there and then you plug her in. Boom. Okay, next, this one's called the Air Vibe. I've talked about this one before in a previous video, but just look at her. She's flexible, she's twisty, she can do all of the things. Again, it comes in the charging case, also comes with a USB charger. And this one, you get dual stimulation, okay? You get the G-spot and you get the clip. It's the best of both worlds. Comes in the most discreet casing. This could be your retainer. <laughs> it's also waterproof. Mm hmm It's rechargeable. And she doesn't make a noise. She knows you're shy. You know what I mean? <laughs> she keeps it quiet for you. And last but not least, this is the Demi Wand. This is my favorite. It comes in a yellow banana case. And you can just tell your friends this is your eyeglass case. It literally just looks like your glasses could be in here. And again, it comes with a USB cord. Put it in the little hole. <laughs> This one works for all body types. Orgasms for everyone, baby. And it looks like a microphone. Yeah. It has an innovative design. And she also knows that you're shy, so she keeps it whisper quiet for you. She gets it. Super discreet, like I said, and it comes in the cutest case. Oh, and also it's 100% waterproof as well. So you freaks can go crazy in the shower or the bath or the lake. It's also fall, it's probably freezing. Don't try that. She's got a flexible neck. Look at her. <laughs> so it can hit any angle, any pressure that you want. And there's no annoying patterns with this one either. Everyone who signs up for my giveaway will get a massive discount and some of you will win a fully free toy. All you have to do is click the link in the description and sign up to receive your special little gift from me and Bellessa. Also, it's 100% discreet shipping and billing and they ship worldwide, God bless. Thank you so much Bellessa for sponsoring today's video and let's get into it. All right, hey again, I just put this shirt back on. Okay, so where did we leave off last time? I guess basically we switched hotels. Well, we went to the red light district. That was a hoot and a half. So Caitlin booked a hotel because we had to switch hotels, but the hotel that she booked was the wrong one. And she booked one very far away from where we wanted to stay. So I went ahead and I booked one for us. And this is the part where we get to the hotel that I booked. We walk up to these wooden doors with our suitcases. We have like four suitcases each and I'm about to open up these wooden doors and I'm about to tell you what I experienced so it's just gonna cut right into it hope you guys enjoy let's get into it immediately I'm slapped in the face with a giant narrow wooden staircase 
right at the front of the door and it's like a twisty one. It's like a twisty wooden staircase. It's dark inside. It's dark inside. It looks like a vampire lair. And I was like, oh, this. This is, this is not gonna be good. Me and Caitlin look at those stairs and we're like, oh my God, okay. This sucks, but let's just get our luggage up the stairs, you know? I'm kind of standing at the middle of the stairs and Caitlin grabs one luggage, hands it to me. I'm in the middle, I go up the rest of the stairs, put it in the lobby, go back down, rinse and repeat, right? We do that four times. I'm already sweaty as hell just from that, right? And then I was like, Caitlin, you just stay outside. It's like cool outside. Let me just go check in really quick. So I go up the stairs. It was this really tiny room right at the top of the stairs with one tiny little desk by the window. Looked very sketchy. Did not look like an actual hotel establishment. And I was like, hi, I think I have a room here. And she was like, oh, perfect. What's your name? And I was like, Sarah Fasca. And she was like, oh yeah, I see you right here. Perfect. And then she gave me a bunch of paperwork. She's like, sign here. Okay, an initial here. Uh-huh, perfect. An initial right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Signature here. Uh-huh. Okay, and here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, great. Um, so you guys are gonna be in room 406. And here's your key. And I was looking around and all I see behind me is another wooden narrow staircase. <laughs> And I looked at that, and I looked at her, and I looked at that, and then I looked at her again, and I say, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so where's the elevator gonna be? We have a lot of luggage with us. We're traveling along Europe. And she goes, Ooh, I'm so sorry. Oh. <laughs> You know, a lot of people ask that, so don't feel silly. I mean, I know, I wish we had an elevator, right? It would be so much better, but we don't, so. Yeah, we just have that wooden staircase. And I'm looking at this bitch, and I'm like, okay, cool. You said we're on what floor? She goes, oh, um, oh yeah, you're, 405, so you're gonna be on fourth floor. So there's gonna be uh, four, four levels, right? Cause you're on fourth floor, the fourth. One, two, three, four. So there's gonna be four narrow wooden staircases going up to each floor. So yeah, you're gonna have to take your massive overweight luggage and go up that narrow staircase four times. And I go, oh, okay, sick. What? Is there any room on this floor so we don't have to go up any stairs? Oh, <laughs> that's cute. That's cute. The soccer game is today. So all of our rooms are booked. You have the last room, so. And I was like, who gives a fuck if the soccer game is today? What? Is the soccer game across the street? Like what? And she's like, oh, no, hun. So the sports bar is across from us? From across the street? They're all playing the game at every single sports bar <laughs> on this street. So people love to book this hotel out just for the soccer games so they can just go across the street and watch the game. So yeah, we don't have any more rooms left. You got the last one though. That's awesome. That's like such good luck. <laughs> I was quite literally twitching. I was so mad. I spent my hard earned cash on this room already. I signed, I initialed, I did all of the damn things. And then she tells me this information. Oh. I was like, okay, well, if that's the case, is there like a guy that works here that could help us with our luggage? And she goes, oh, uh, ooh, 
It's 4.55. Oh, hon. So the hotel closes at five and um, nobody's gonna be here. I would help you, but um, I'm off in five minutes. I'm so sorry. And I was like, what? You're, is anybody gonna be working the front desk at all? Oh no, that's not how we operate here. Oh, it should have said that on the paper that you signed. And I was like, okay, so no one's going to be working the front desk at all tonight? Uh, no, 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 we're gonna be across the street watching the game. Because it's, it's the big soccer game. But don't worry, don't worry. We lock up the doors at night. No one can get in if that's what you're worried about, if there's safety concerns. And I was like, no, bitch, I need a person. I need an extra body to help me lug these giant marine animals up this staircase. I have four killer whales with me that I have to lug up these stairs. Uh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. And mind you, Caitlin is still outside. I just knew by the way that I was feeling that me delivering this information to Caitlin, it would be nightmare on Elm Street. Also, my pride and my ego was completely shattered because I'm the one that booked this hotel. I was the one that was like, I know what I'm doing. I got it covered. Don't worry, Caitlin. You can turn your brain off. Go ahead and flip that switch. Okay, daddy's gotcha. Just sit, relax, let me just go check in. So yeah, I was like completely embarrassed. My ego was shattered and I did not want Caitlyn to have to experience this hell that I was about to embark on because it wasn't her journey. It wasn't her fault. I was the one that booked this. I was the one. So um, I strapped my boots on, metaphorically. I rolled up my sleeves. And you guys, I one by one took each of those suitcases up four flights of stairs. And guys, our suitcases were overweight. Like we had to charge extra. They were so fucking heavy. I'm just a girl. I almost fell over like seven times just going up the stairs because they were so fucking narrow and it was dark. And I was hollering down at the front desk lady. I was like, is there a light switch perhaps? Because I can't see the steps while I'm going up them. And she was like, oh, um, yeah. Once you reach the floor, the lights will automatically turn on. <laughs> They're like automatic. And I was like, okay, sick. So there's like no lights shining on the stairs. You guys, I was huffing. I was puffing. I was so sweaty. Like every single time I would take a bag up and put it on a floor, I would lay down on the floor and just breathe. Like my heart rate, like I literally couldn't breathe. Maybe I just have asthma, I don't know. But like, I literally couldn't breathe. Like my chest hurt. I like lay on the ground and just breathe. And I'm like, Okay, and then I would have to go back down, take another one up, and just do the same thing four times each flight of stairs. It took me like 45 minutes, dude. I'm not kidding. It was so, so hard. And after I finally got all of the luggage into the room, I go downstairs and I am so out of breath. Like, I have no life in me. My entire body's like red. Like, if you touched my face, it would just turn ghost white. I was... <laughs> It looked like I just did like a two hour workout. And I go downstairs and I go outside and Caitlin sees me like this. She was like on her phone, like on TikTok or some shit. And she was like, what the? F and I was like, just. No speaky weaky. I handled it. It's done. It's over. Let's go to our room. And she was just like, Okay, because she was like, why the fuck did it take you that long? Like I've been sitting out here for 45 minutes. Once she got into the lobby and she looked at me and goes, okay, where's the elevator? And I just look at her and I go. What elevator? She was like, oh, there's no way. And I was like, oh. And she was like, what, what floor are we on? I go, oh, it, it's the, the very top. 
Very top floor. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and she was like, okay. And I'm like, yeah, no speaky. We walk up those four flights of stairs in complete silence. We get into the room. I lay down and I close my eyes. I'm still trying to calm my body down. Like my heart is still racing. Like I'm so hot. I'm like, I like took off my clothes. I was like, oh my God. Also that woman pissed me the fuck off. Also just a really sketchy place. Like, I mean, that was just not an establishment where two little scrawny little bitches should be staying at by themselves. It was just so off and weird. We just felt really uneasy. And Caitlin was like, okay, I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna like shop around. Do you wanna come? And I was like, fuck no, dude. I'm so sorry that like completely took it out of me. I just need to be alone for an hour and a half. I was like, I need a nap or something. And she was like, totally. I'm just gonna take my AirPods and I'm going to go shopping. And I was like, okay, cool. She opens up her suitcase and she's like, do you, do you have my AirPods? And I was like, no, what? Why would I have your AirPods? She's like tearing up her suitcase. She's like, I, they're not in my bag. And she's tearing up her backpack. She's tearing up her duffel bag. She was like, can you just check and see if you put them in your suitcase? I'm like, yeah. So I get up, I'm like tearing through all of my shit too. They're nowhere to be found. She tries like find my iPhone. It's turned off. The fucking maids at the first place stole them. They stole her AirPods. And guess what? I was the bitch who chose that place too. I was the bitch that chose that hotel too. Like L after L after L just keeps smacking me in the face. I'm like, oh my God, why does this keep happening? Whenever I pick a hotel in the first place, great reviews. So I thought the reviews were great. Location was great. We had a good experience there. So I didn't think anything was wrong. No, they have this like whole scheme. There's like Reddit pages about it. So many people talk about their shit getting stole, specifically AirPods, because that's an item where like, when you lose them, you're like, oh, I would lose them because you lose them all the time, right? But that's what they prey on. They prey on that. And so they steal AirPods specifically. She's like going through all these Reddit pages and like she's looking at all the one star reviews, which I should have done, but I didn't. And everyone's basically saying that you get your shit stolen if you stay there. So great job, Sarah. <laughs> You're really kicking this trip off, aren't you? Loser, loser, loser. Like what, Sarah? Again? Oh my God, and I was so pissed off for her too. So we were just in that room just fuming and pissed and like so uncomfortable in our own skin. And we're in Amsterdam, like we should be having so much fun. We should be drunk by now. We should be looking cute, meeting Dutchmen, and maybe, I don't know, singing a song? Like, I wanna be singing a song on the street. Why are we sitting in this creepy ass, dark ass room that creaks? Everything was creaking. Why are we sweating? Why am I dripping in sweat? Why do I smell like a dairy farm on a hot summer day? I don't see any cows next to me. So Caitlin is so upset about her AirPods being stolen, rightfully so. She was just like, I just need to go on a walk. I just need to go shopping. And I was like, totally girl. So she leaves and I'm laying in this hotel and I just start sobbing. I'm just so upset about that situation. I'm upset that I just spent all this money on this fucking room. I literally cried myself to sleep. I woke up, my eyes are like swollen. Caitlin walks through the door. She bought some cute shit, so. God bless. She was still just like, oh my God, Sarah, like I was trying to walk around and shake it off and I'm just so pissed. And I was like, no, me too. Like this sucks. Don't know what to do with myself. I feel really uncomfortable. I don't even want to like start getting ready to go out tonight because I, I feel just so uneasy. And she was like, well, I mean, we still do have that room that I booked at that other place that's super far because they wouldn't let me cancel because the cancellation policy, you can't cancel on the same day, I guess. She was like, we could go there even though it's really far, super out of the way. And I was like, oh my God, but I just took all of that luggage up here. I was like, I'm literally going to lose my mind, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind if I have to do that again. Like, I don't know if I can do that again. And she was like, I think that if me and you really put our heads and our hearts into this, we can do this together, okay? You did it by yourself the first time and you went up. So all we have to do is just work together and bring them down now. And I was like, oh my God. 
Okay, yeah, all right, just get me the fuck out of here, bro. Like, honestly, get me the fuck out of this dungeon. Oh my God, where am I? I go into the bathroom, I like slap myself a few times, give myself a pep talk, I wipe my tears. I'm like, let's fucking go. Let's just get this over with. We're gonna feel so much better. I put back on my big girl boots, <sighs> roll up my sleeves again, wipe the sweat off of my brow and we go to work. One single person tries to talk to me, I don't care who the fuck it is, if one person tries to talk to me while I am trying to complete this task, I might strangle them. Ha ha ha. And I'm not kidding. Like, I might just snap. You don't want to see it. And it barely comes out, but when it does, ooh, you don't want to see it. You do not want to see it. No human being better try to come in contact with us right now. <laughs> So we get through the first set of stairs and um, oh, we hear a voice. Oh, none other than a man. There's a man, there's a man. What are you up to? <laughs> Getting out of here. <laughs> there's a man trying to speak to us right now. <laughs> trying to make small talk with us right now. Where are you still? Uh, upstairs. What, well, here? Yeah. Been so <laughs> What? How was your stay? Um, bad. We were here for two hours. He's asking us why we're leaving. He's so confused why we're leaving. Why would you leave this place? Yeah, I'm out of here. Why are you Um, because we... Big, huge situation. We just gotta get out of this hotel. What, the hotel's bad or Um, yeah, I mean... No, you're fine. We're just two girlies. We just gotta be somewhere else, you know? Good. Yeah, I got my stuff stolen somewhere else last night, so I'm trying to stay somewhere and feel a little bit better. We have nowhere to escape. We can't just ignore him because he's standing right behind Caitlyn as we're moving the things. And he's just hovering over Caitlyn on this staircase. Just like, he just keeps asking questions. He was so upset that we were leaving and just like, he didn't understand. Someone stole here. No, not here, at a different hotel. We moved here. Uh -huh. And now we're just trying to feel more comfortable, you know? Um, like a Marriott. And in my head, oh my god, I was at the bottom of the staircase, like grabbing the things, and I seriously, you guys, I saw, I was seeing red. For the love of God, if this man wants to be, I don't know, useful, he can offer to help us. But this man wasn't offering. He was just yapping, asking questions. That was pissing me off even fucking more. Cause here are these two girls, these scrawny ass bitches just trying their best to carry these killer whales down the stairs. And this man just isn't even helping. Finally, he asks, he asks, oh, do you want me to help you? It took you five minutes to ask that while we're like almost done. That would rock. Thank you. I'll help you if you can tell me That's the deal. There's not really much to say. I mean, I just got my AirPods stolen at a different hotel. We moved here. This one, we didn't know it was this small in the stairs situation. We're just being girly. We just want to be somewhere else. Huh? 
Have you swapped heads? No, we did. But you just don't want it. Yeah, I just would rather feel safer somewhere else. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, I'm so pissed. I'm like sweaty right now. Oh my god, this is like pissing me off all over again. He grabs one bag, you guys. I kid you not. One bag. Hands it to Caitlin. This man. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so upset. This man starts complaining about how heavy our bags are. He just helped us with that one bag. And after that one bag, he completely just stopped helping us and just started bitching about how heavy our bags were for, I'm not kidding, like five more minutes. Huh? Yeah, dude, we know. We're just trying to get it over with. Thank you so much. So, those bags? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you joking? How long do you used to pay for Like a month. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's a little valid. Mm, so. It makes a little sense. That seems a bit rational, but okay. I know. We're just being girls. Yes, like this. <laughs> Thanks. I, I'm sorry, man. You can't be doing this. Huh? Yeah, I'm sorry, we just can't be doing this. You've got too much shit, man. <laughs> And then as we were like on the last stairs that we had to go down from the lobby to the outside world, this guy is still bitching from the lobby being like, I feel bad, but like, this isn't my shit. This isn't my problem. Like, oh my God, you're really gonna make this my problem? This is not my problem. Oh, it's okay. It's really not my shit. All good, dude, thank you. And then, and then, he starts bitching at us again. Your laptop and shit, something's just fucking serious shit. Yeah, that's why we're leaving. No, but like, if you leave like this, it's so disorganized, it's too much shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm not being negative, I'm being negative, but I'm just trying to make he's aware, you know? Yep. Honestly, I'm just gonna say, that's the problem. Is that your jacket? No. Yeah. Well, I'll push this. Good luck, girls. Thank you. Here's the gun for you. Oh my, you got, like literally my heart rate is going up again. Calling us disorganized, that we have too much shit, but not helping us at all. You fucking swine. He is a swine. <laughs> Just be thankful I did not get arrested, okay? I held my tongue. I let Caitlin do the talking because I just knew if I opened my mouth, ooh, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo, prison. So yeah, that guy was super questionable, super sketchy. Once we walked outside, we felt, oh my God, it was like a golden light going through us. Like we could breathe again, dude. I felt like I had a compression jacket on the entire time I was in that building. And once I, oh my God, I could breathe. out here transferring. <laughs> I just can't stop transferring. I've transferred so many times. Like, all we've done today is transfer. I need to stay in one place and pull myself together so bad and then transfer again. I want to stop transferring with all my luggage. Friday, our answer trip is the day of transfer. Yeah. So then we transfer over to this new hotel, like I said, kind of far out of the way, but we were just so blessed to be getting out of purgatory. So we show up at the new hotel and you guys, um, this isn't just like your average hotel. It looks like a jail. The Uber pulls up and we're like, I don't think it, this is it. And he's looking at his, he's like, no, this, this is it. And we were like, are you fucking kidding me? This is it? Like it looked so scary on the outside. We we're like, there's no way that this is our hotel, but 
alas we're just so defeated we're like if we take one more l it's it's over for me so we get inside it literally looks like a jail and so i go on google and i type in the name of this hotel it used to be a jail not fucking joking not fucking joking now it's a hotel but for some reason really great vibes inside <laughs> it was big it was open. There were no narrow stairs. We could breathe. They were playing music. There was an actual lobby with multiple people at the front desk checking multiple people in. Immediately we felt safe. There was like a door guy. So like security and shit at the front, like pristine vibes, right? Everything's going to be okay. I really trust Caitlin and I trust this process. You know what I'm saying? Apparently I will never book another hotel again. Me and Caitlin established this. Caitlin's like, Sarah, I'll just take care of this next time. And I'm like, totally, you have that. And she was like, but great effort. Like, I know, and I'm like, I, I get it. You don't have to be nice to me. So I'm sitting in the little waiting area in the lobby and I'm enjoying the nice little tunes that's playing and Caitlin is at the front desk and she's chatting with the woman. And the woman is like leaning over, like talking to Caitlin all personable like this, you know, just like talking to her, smiling at her. And Caitlin is gagged. I'm walking, I can't hear what they're saying, but from afar, like I'm enjoying this exchange of energy. And I'm like, okay, I like that Caitlin is giggling right now. This is really awesome. The woman like gets up and she's like, and she like points the computer at Caitlin and Caitlin and her are just like this over the desk, like looking at the screen. The lady's like scrolling, talking to her, pointing shit out. And Caitlin was like, and then after five minutes of that, the lady comes behind the desk and her and Caitlin are walking towards me, both of them. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, huh? And Caitlin was like, um, she's just gonna like have me tour a few rooms. <laughs> and she wants to know which one I like the best because apparently I have an upgrade so I can pick a better room. And I was like, let's fucking get it, bitch. Let's get it, bitch. I will be right here. I trust you. I trust your process. I trust this journey, okay? I'm just along for the ride now. I'm just, I'm turning my brain off. <laughs> Sorry you couldn't turn yours off, unfortunately, Caitlin. Handle it. Mine's off now. So her and this lady go into the elevator. Cause there's an elevator. And I'm literally sitting there twiddling my thumbs. And after 10 minutes, Caitlin and this sweet, sweet, sweet lady, they come out of the elevator and Caitlin is making this eye contact with me. And she's just kind of doing like a... And I'm looking at her and I'm like... Yeah? And she's just like... I'm like, period. So then she goes back to the desk with the lady. They're like, boop, 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 boop. She hands her the keys. Caitlin comes up to me and she goes, bitch, you're not even ready. You're not even ready. We go up this elevator. Caitlin got to pick the biggest, the brightest, and most gorgeous room of the whole hotel. And there's a view, because she randomly got an upgrade. My heart was crying. There were no tears left to cry in my eyes, but in my heart, ooh, weeping like a little babe. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank the Lord, dude. I don't even care if I'm in jail. No. <laughs> the other place was more like jail than me. And I almost went to jail today. Yeah. Oh my god. What a freaking blessing this is. I know. Holy fuck. I saw you walking back with her and you were just like, yeah, like, yes. <gasps> Let there be light. There's so much space. I know, dude. So, oh my God, we felt so relieved. We take showers. We're blasting Charlie XEX because Brat, the album, just came out during the trip. So we were blasting Brat pretty much the entire trip besides that awful few hours in the dungeon. But we were blasting Brat. We felt so incredibly Julia. We did feel like 365 party girls. We were getting ready to make our makeup. I have natural light coming through the window as I'm doing my makeup at this beautiful desk with a view in front of me. Like I am in heaven. We're like, okay, we gotta turn this day around. Red light district. Should we go back? 
We should go back, right? We should go back. We should go back. So we get all hot, we get all cute, and then we hit up the red light again. We're walking down the street, we're like making little flirty eyes with the girls in the window. They were like... And I'm just like... Great titties. But... Can't. Like... I love you. I'm not drunk enough. <laughs> Maybe after a few shots, we can make out. How much is it? So then we were like, let's just go to another sex show because that was fun and exhilarating for no reason. We need some serotonin pumping through our brains. And so there was this other sex place called the Banana Club. But I remember when we got to the Banana Bar, I was like, this looks familiar. I think that I went in here, but I don't know. I, I'll have to like walk inside. When we got to the front of the line to get into the Banana Club, there was this guy. Apparently there's two levels to this shit. So like the top level was like, do you want titties and ass? In your face, you can touch them, you can grab them, you can touchy touch, you can do all that, that's extra, or you can go to this place on the first floor, no touchy touchy, you just sit there, you can get a lap dance, but no touchy touchy, no freaky shit, but you can get a lap dance, but no touchy business, or you can go upstairs, you can fondle, you can go crazy. And we were like, all right. So he was like explaining it for way too long. We were like, all right, all right. We get the gist. First floor is fine. Like we don't have to touchy touchy. Like we're super cool not doing that. We just, we just want to watch like what the fuck. And so he's like, okay. He gives us our tickets. And on our ticket, it says two free drinks with our ticket. So we were like, fuck yeah, two free drinks. Well, not free, we paid for it with the ticket, but like, hell yeah, we got our little drink voucher. And I walked in and I was like, oh, oh yeah, this rings a bell. This, <laughs> yeah, I remember this place. Don't remember much, but I do remember, cause there was one stripper pole in the middle of this bar. It was like a dark bar, kind of small with one stripper pole, not even on a stage. It was like in the middle of the bar. And there was a little platform where the pole was on top of, but just one pole. And I was like, ah, yes, I definitely got on that pole in 2017. That's the, literally the only memory that I have of that place is just holding the pole and bending my back and be like, yeah. And then the stripper probably being like, hey, you can't touch that. You need to get off the stage. And I'm like, totally. And that's all I remember. But I just remember that room. And immediately when we walk in, like I said before, the ladies love us. <laughs> We have cute smiles, we're giggly, we're approachable, you know? Immediately, we felt like Justin Bieber, dude. All the ladies came up to us, like literally crowded around us, like titties in our face, being like, oh my God, hey queens. She's like, you need to show off that face, girl. They're like tucking the hair behind my ears and I'm like, hey allowed to touch me like this is kind of a lot they were super nice super super nice and they just wanted to talk to us like they just they were so sweet they were just so happy that two cute girls were in there and we were like normal you know so yeah we felt like jb it felt nice it felt nice but also they probably do that to everyone <laughs> probably a part of the job description they have to make everyone feel that way so that people spend their money we're like oh my god we're so special like do we just radiate a type of energy? No, girl, they do that to everyone. But it did feel nice, all right? And then one of the girls, she was so nice. She was like chatting me and Caitlin up, like lubing us up in a way. Just to like make us feel comfortable. It was sweet because it was very intimidating walking in there because it was like a dark bar. All of these naked bitches, no, they're not bitches. You know what I mean? All these naked women around with like a bunch of creepy ass dudes. Okay, my phone died. So I have to be on my laptop. So the girl that was super nice to us, she was like, do you ladies want a drink? You have your coupons, right? 
And we were like, yeah, we want a drink. We were like, yeah, we get two free drinks. And she was like, what do you guys want to drink? I'll get them for you. And we were like, okay, slay. So we were like, can we just get a vodka soda? And she was like, totally. And she takes our coupons. And we were like, okay, cool. And so we're just chatting with the other ladies. And then she comes back with our drinks. And she goes, here you go. And we're like, thank you. She's like, you guys can have a seat over there. We take our little drinks. We sit, we sit on this booth. It's like one giant leather booth that wraps around half of the room against the wall and then in the middle is the stripper pool so like all of these dudes are sitting on this long ass booth and then just me and Caitlin awkwardly on the side just these two like cute girls like and all these dudes that were sitting on the booth were like looking at us being like huh are they a part of the show like what is this like it was we looked very fish out of water but we were enjoying it so we're sipping on our little drinks and we're enjoying the show. It would be just like one by one. One of the girls would get up on the pole, do a little dancey dance. And then they would kind of like make their way around the booth and just ask if anyone wants a little lap dance. And then some of the dudes were like, he does, ha, ha, ha. he does, it's his birthday. And then the girls would be like, okay, money. And then their friends would like give the girl the money and then they would like get on top of the guy and like, <laughs> like stick everything in the face. Like they would like get on top of them, like riding their face. It was, it was a sight to see. And all the bros were like, oh, yeah, that's my boy, that's my boy, get it, get it, get it. And me and Caitlin were like, oh, these fucking dweebs. This is probably the only pussy that they, see. sorry. Um, Anyway, we were just like encouraging the girlies, you know, being supportive. One of the girlies kept coming up to us, pretty much like begging us if she can give us, like she was just like, you guys are so high, you guys are so beautiful. Oh my God, I just wanna be on top of you. And we're like, oh my God, we're so flattered queen, but you know, we're just here to watch. We have some ones, we'll like throw it on the, on the pole while you're dancing, but we don't really wanna lap dance though. We're not barbarians. We're not just gonna like not tip the girlies when they're dancing. We're not insane, like we have etiquette, but we just don't really wanna lap dance. Also, I'm not drunk enough. Catch me maybe three shots later. I was still just adjusting to the environment because we just got there and like, what the fuck is happening around me? So I was like, maybe later, queen. Love you, love you, maybe later. And she took that so seriously. She did keep coming back later, like every three minutes. And I'm like, no, maybe a little. <sighs> love her though. Like, I get it. I would be the same way. It's like, you said later. So like, when's late, like, I get it, I get her. And then the original girl that greeted us and got us the drinks, she comes up to us and she sits down next to us. We're chatting, we're chatting. And me and Caitlin both finished our first drink at the same time. She looks at us and she was like, do you guys want another drink? And we were like, yeah, sure. Could we get another vodka soda? And she was like, yeah, sure. Um, That'll be $80. We were like, what? It said, it said on our coupon that we get two drinks each. And she was like, right. So the soda was a drink and then the shot of vodka was the second drink. So yeah, you're gonna have to pay. And we were like, what? Are you fucking for real? What? And she's like, no, yeah. And I could tell that she felt bad. I could tell that she like did not want to relay that information. Cause even she was like, I know it's crazy. I don't make the rules. I think it's ridiculous, but I mean, I kind of have to, you know, there's nothing I can do. And we were like, no, totally. It's not your fault. But girl, what? And she's like, I know it's really weird. And I was like, what the fuck? So you're like, okay, here's $80 for one drink eat. Like what? Oh my God. That just kind of like killed our vibe. We're like, that is actually crazy. What? But whatever, we were just still trying to enjoy ourselves. Yeah, after a while, we were just kind of over it. Because <laughs> the girlies just kept wanting lap dances from us in particular, because we were cute girls. They kept asking if we wanted more drinks and we're like, we do not want to spend more money. Like, what the f And so me and Caitlin just looked at each other and we we're like, let's just get the fuck out of here. And um, we got up and literally all the girlies ran over to us as we were like walking towards the door. <laughs> Again, we felt like JB.
And they're like, are you guys leaving? And we were like, yeah, we, we have a big day tomorrow. And they're like, oh my God, we're gonna miss you. And they're like, Ee! we were like all like, jumping. <laughs> One of the girls asked me to follow her on Instagram. <laughs> And then I followed her on Instagram. This other girl asked me to follow her too. Like, they were so nice. They were just doing their jobs, you know? So yeah, then we left that. We're leaving the red light district and this guy just comes up to me and Sarah and starts trying to talk to us. And I told him that we were leaving and he comes up to me, whispers in my ear, you are so beautiful. It would be such a shame if you were as dumb. He said that? Oh, that's what he said in my ear. Because he was like, where are you going? I was like, home. And he looked on my phone and saw the Uber and was like, you know, they don't come here, right? And then he goes, you're so beautiful. It's just a shame you're that dumb. <laughs> and like now we're unfortunately walking in the direction that he said we had to go to for our Uber. We like, we had to like walk away from him. Like, which is shameful because I am that dumb. <laughs> Like, so, dude, we're fucking tourists. Give us a break. We like, don't, you don't have to call us names. Like, you don't have to say that. Don't call us dumb. Just but be helpful. He whispered that in my ear. <laughs> it would be a shame if you were a star. Like, whispering that seductively is crazy. As I'm like walking awkwardly in the direction that he told me to go in because he is right and I am he wrong. Is right. And then once he walked away, Caitlin was like, wait, I'm kind of. <laughs> He, no, like he ate, like he whispered that in my ear while smoking a cigarette and like, then walked away. Seductively. Like if he was hot, I would have been like, let's go party at our place. Yeah, like you're so hot, but like he was ugly. He was ugly, dude. Because that, that was... That was kind of hot. Like, oh, what, yeah, we I, all have our kinks. I <laughs> am a dumb American, huh? Like wait, me as I'm about to walk into this pole. <laughs> Maybe I am fucking an idiot. Maybe I am an American. And guess what? I don't know where I'm going right now because I'm recording on Snapchat, but like I need to be looking at where the Uber's picking me up. So okay, BRB. So we should request at the Dill Bar. The Dill Bar. Now we're getting ready for bed and we're just laying down and Caitlin is just refreshing AnneFrank.org. And we have been just really trying to get these Anne Frank tickets, man, this entire trip. And Caitlin is just relentless. Like she will not give up. She was like, you know what? I'm gonna try one more time before I go to bed. And then this is what occurred. <laughs> Here I am on AnneFrank.org for like the 900th time this week trying to get tickets to the Anne Frank house. Like we need to go, we need to go. And for the first time I notice, I've been on this website 900 times this week. They just added that there's this new thing called finding beauty <laughs> starting like tomorrow night for like two nights. Extraordinary sound art experience at the Anne Frank house. South African composer and sound artist, Philip Miller will present an unusual experience at the Anne Frank house. I feel like that wording is borderline inappropriate. <laughs> An unusual experience at the Anne Frank house. We have to be more careful with our wording. Like that is concerning. Like, the Anne Frank House <laughs> is available for visitors because of the unusual experience that happened at the house. And now you're providing more unusual? Like, we don't need that. <laughs> That's crazy. That's such crazy wording. I'm sure Philip Miller's great. <laughs> but, like, we could have chosen any other wording. Like, I don't know, maybe a beautiful experience that unites people in, like, we all rejoice for something good. Not <laughs> Philip Miller will present an unusual experience every night at the Anne Frank house. That's fucking weird. That sounds so weird. The art project Finding Beauty will take center stage during these evenings at the Anne Frank house. So and it's sold out. Yeah, I'm like trying to buy tickets and like <laughs> tomorrow night's fucking sold out, which makes no sense because since when was this a thing? I've been on this website every fucking day this week. The only times are like the times like during our flight on Sunday. 
Like, we can't go to that. Wow. Oh my god. He has, like, a choir with him. And the review from somebody is, oh my god. We're, like, probably gonna have to bleep this out. Although the lives of these girls differ greatly from the life of Anne Frank. <laughs> oh my god, like, that does not need to be addressed. Oh... Oh, and this is all on AnneFrank.org. <laughs> Although the lives of these girls differ greatly from that of Anne Frank, the choir of Philip Miller. <laughs> the choir. They're talking about the choir. And just singing a choir outside of the house. They all share the same dreams. Frank didn't dream of singing in a choir. Oh. <laughs> it's so different. How do you even compare the oh, two? Oh, it's like in bold italics. So we can't go. We can't. I mean, I'm going to keep trying to go. <laughs> Dude, I don't care what I experienced at the Anne Frank house at this point. I just like want to be there. I should, we should at least walk by it tomorrow if we can't go in. Yeah, we sh we'll walk by it. Oh my god, I almost just said the worst thing ever. What? Say it. Should I like DM Philip Miller? Seductive pictures of me with pizza. <laughs> Caitlin. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. <laughs> these are everything, though. Like, are you, these are hot. Why did I just pay seven bucks to do this? <laughs> Wait, now I want one. <laughs> <laughs> you take the pizza box downstairs? I'm going to. Dude, my eyes are not even open in the first one. <laughs> are closed. I need to take these pictures. This is what happens when you go to the red light district. You come home and fucking do this? <laughs> what is this? Not you genuinely taking the pizza and going downstairs to do it yourself now. Oh, there's just no way. I'll be right back. That is so funny. You're just going. <laughs> I thought she was taking the pizza and recreating that. And I just took a piece of pizza out of the box. Because I thought you were going to take the whole box with you to pose with it. You're just taking pictures of yourself. <laughs> totally. I mean, that's better news for me. Here I go. A little different than all the rest. A quite old fashioned where I had sometimes played chess. And when I'm out, I'm looking for that. Seem impossible to score So I dream of To someday find that vintage love I kept on looking But everyone's such a bore And out of a sudden You came through the door At the next table your whiskey neat The lights were dim As our eyes met and you saw me And forevermore I like to share that vintage dream
best pictures ever. <laughs> I took like 20. What? Oh my god, my makeup is so fucked. What is going on here? Are you guys seeing this? Ugh. What is that? Oh, anyway. So yeah, that the next day we woke up bright and early and we went to this little like farmer's market type thing. They had a bunch of cool little vendors there, bunch of cool clothes. They had groceries. People were grocery shopping in the street. It was really cute and really fun. Like, like I wish I could grocery shop here. I try to bring an eggplant to Ibiza. <laughs> wow, that's gorgeous. I am finally trying Amsterdam cheese. He's just looking at me. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I don't know what any of this is. Me like nervous. Heart's racing. Yeah. Dude, this is like baby doll cheese on like X Games mode. Can you please try that? Yeah. You have to try that. Oh, you're gonna freak. <laughs> you know, it like melts in your mouth. Yeah. It just melted. Oh my god, I need it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. Can you try that one? Yeah. Oh my god. Is it all so bad? Oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> Like, oh my, watch how you don't need everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to pull me away from there. <laughs> oh, what? This is kind of a lot. Yeah. Have to pull you away from there, you said? Yeah. <laughs> it would be easy. It's your hair. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what it's there for at this point. So much can happen. <laughs> First one. Yeah. Can you get me one too? Oh, I wasn't getting. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so much cheese. Oh my god. There's more? There's more? How could there possibly be more cheese? This is your heaven. Dude. I feel like I'm on like the Food Network and I'm like <laughs> on one of those like crazy Netflix shows. Yeah. <laughs> like that's incredible. Oh, this is. Oh my God, Sarah, look, look at those tops. Oh, okay. <laughs> here we go. Oh my God. And then after that, we were like, oh my god, this trip does not feel complete unless we have to at least see the Anne Frank house, you know? Like, we can't get inside the club, but let's just stand outside of it and admire it. Let's just see it, you know? We just want to see the Anne Frank house. We just want to see where she was, you know? We just want to see it from the outside. Anne, let us in. Please let us in, Anne. Let us in. Let us in. Let us in. Let us in. I feel like I'm just outside of the club. Yeah. Can't get in. The FOMO. That's crazy. And then after that, we were like, let's go get some lunch. We went to this really cute little diner, not a diner. It was just like this cute little lunch spot. We got some really great lunch. I got a turkey club and it was fantastic. Happy Pride. <laughs> And then we just shopped around for the rest of the day. There were so many great little shopping areas. There was like this one street, it was like Rodeo Drive. It had like all of the designer stores on it and then all of these awesome stores. We went to Urban Outfitters and I got some really cute stuff there. I got some really cute dresses there. And yeah, we just spent the whole day shopping. I got some cool rings. I got this one there. This is my favorite ring of all time. I wear this like every day now. So cool. And yeah, we just we just spent a lot of money <laughs> that day. That's the bathing suit store. The 
baby store? Baby store. Oh. And I hope you guys didn't forget about Caitlyn's ex's cousin, because I sure didn't. So after we went shopping, Caitlyn's ex, what did I name him, DJ? DJ hit us up when we got back to our hotel and asked us if we wanted to hang out with him and his friends, because this was our last night in Amsterdam. We were leaving the next morning to embark on our Ibiza trip. <laughs> Um, and Caitlin and I were like, hell yeah, like, let's go out with a shebang. Let's meet all of DJ's Dutch friends <laughs> and let's go to some clubs because we haven't gone to any clubs yet in Amsterdam, which is crazy. And DJ and his friends just really wanted to show us the club scene in Amsterdam. So we were super excited. And also it was really nice to know that we knew people there and we could actually like have fun with friends that we know, well, I don't know them, but Caitlin knows him. So we were just so excited to socialize <laughs> with people that we kind of know, you know? So we were hyped. We get ready and then we Uber to his apartment and he lives with a few friends and they were so, so nice. They were so accommodating. Like they were the nicest people I've literally ever met. They were so interested in me and Caitlin. And they had some crazy stories since they lived there their whole lives. And like, it was so cool to meet them. And it was cool to like go to DJ's apartment first and pregame with them and just get to know them. They were lubing us up, you know, for the night. You know, when you go to a pregame and you're just having too much fun, you're like, wait, should we like go to the club now? We totally forgot that we were doing that. That was the vibe. Like we, we were there for hours and then we were like, oh, we should probably like go to a club. We just wanted to stay there, honestly. We were having so much fun. Right before we all piled into one of the Uber vans, that's another thing. In Amsterdam, they have Uber vans, which is lit. Like they actually have giant vans. It was so, so convenient for all of our luggage and stuff. But before we get in the van, one of the girls that lives with DJ, she comes up to me and Caitlin with two handfuls of toilet paper. And she goes like this to me and Caitlin. She's like, take these. Put them in your purse. Trust me, you'll need it. And we were like, what? And she was like, they make you pay for toilet paper at the club. And we were like, oh, thank you. <laughs> That's so, thank you for telling us that. So yeah, we, <laughs> we had to smuggle in a bunch of toilet paper. Super helpful. Thank God for her. We ordered like a giant Uber van. Everyone piled in. Yeah, we basically just had the best night ever with this group of people. We did not want to leave them. And here's a montage of us just having the best last night in Amsterdam you could ever imagine with Caitlyn's ex's cousin. Crazy yeah, this no, it's shot is. You don't That's feel like so generic cool. quality. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> don't go 
touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it, please don't touch it. my friends in Amsterdam. I'm really sad. I'm really sad. Really sad. It's so the last night. <laughs> Why did we just have the best night ever? Dude, and we knew we were gonna. Oh my God, that guy's trying to steal our Uber, sir. Why were they the best people ever? <sighs> I'm so sad. That was so fun. We had so much fun. We had, wow, we had now so you hug fun. me. See, I told you, just give me a second. <laughs> I tried to hug her earlier. Well, because like, I was like, stop. wait, sir. Wait, I think you're my Uber. Wait, Caitlin. Caitlin. Hi, sorry. Sorry. Totally. Oh, totally. Sorry about that. I am sad. I'm so sad. I know I did you. Oh, it was fabulous. Oh, it was so fun. We're just sad because we're leaving tomorrow. That was so fun. Um, we're going to Ibiza tomorrow. Oh, you, you don't live here? Mm-mm. No. We're just visiting our friends. Had to say goodbye. He already sent me a picture. What is this? So then the next morning we wake up and it's raining, it's pouring. The old man is indeed snoring. And that definitely set the tone for how we were feeling as we were on our way to the airport. We were so, so sad to leave. such an incredible night with this group of people. We really wished that we could have hung out with them more on this trip and not just the last night because we were like, oh my God, this trip could have been, who even knows what more amazing this trip could have been if we hung out with them more. Cause just that one night with them was so magical and so fun. They just really, really tied the end of our experience just beautifully. And they really made it so special and we love them so much. And we're just so excited that when we go back to Amsterdam now, we know people that live there. It's so cool. We won't have to be little dweeb tourists just waddling around aimlessly sucking our thumbs next time and making all of the wrong decisions. So yeah, then we get to the airport and we're about to go to Ibiza and we have no freaking idea what to expect. Like how the fuck do we just go from Amsterdam to Ibiza, like the party capital of the world. And at this point, I'm so tired and drained and my body is running on fumes at this point. Like I am so wiped out just from traveling and just like, I don't know, not being in a routine. And I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna make it work and it's gonna work. So that's gonna be the next video. Guys, get ready for that because it was really fun, but also very traumatic but really freaking fun. Like it's like two very extremes happened on this trip. So I'll see you guys then, I'm so excited. It'll be out soon. Just give me a few weeks to work on it. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, if you enjoyed it and comment your favorite part. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in a piece. Okay, bye. Oh, 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 oh,